All right, guys, finally getting the stuff from Tennessee unloaded. Uh, my van is pretty much packed. Gonna pull all this out and show you guys what I picked up. All right, this is a big bin of locks and keys. I actually bought, there's a lot. There's like five or six boxes of keys and locks. And there's a uh, key cutting machine. Uh, there's like a display case. There's some other stuff I'll pull out and show you guys. I paid 60 bucks for all of it. The guy wanted 75. I didn't really want to do it. Lonnie kind of convinced me to do it. Um, the key cutting machine is where the value is. I mean, I'll probably make my money back on the key cutting machine and then try to, you know, make some lots of the rest of this stuff on my website. The guy was funny. He was like, yeah, these locks have got the keys. You just got to find them in there. I'm like, there's no way in hell I'm going through all these keys just to find matches to those locks. Like, that's not going to happen. But uh, there's some cool ones. There's some older ones in here, too, that I'll probably end up pulling out and selling separately that I should do pretty good with. This is pretty cool. Uh, this is an old 16 millimeter. Uh, I guess it's like a projector. I guess, it, yeah, it looks like a projector. It's pretty neat. I don't know if it works, but I paid, I think it was like three or four dollars. Uh, I like old stuff like this. Usually does pretty good on my website. Here's that lock box uh, that came with the keys. There's some keys in there. And this one actually has the key, so pretty cool. Solid wood. I think I'll probably end up getting at least 15 or 20 bucks for this. This is an old military gas can. Uh, the guy was closing up shop and just wanted to get rid of some stuff. Um, so I got it for five bucks. Here is the key cutting machine. Hoping it works because this thing should sell for about 60 or 70 bucks if it's working. Pretty cool. Pay three for this American Flyer 10 sign. It's a reproduction, 1993. Still has some good graphics though. Uh, I got this Power Ranger doll for a dollar. It is circa, uh, what's the year on here? 1994, so might be one of the originals. Got this cowboy hat for three bucks. It is a American hat company. Feels like it's pretty good quality. Um, I got this charger. This is like an RC, um, RC car battery charger. I got a few of these actually. I got them all for like 50 cents each. I got the battery and the charger. These are pretty good little sellers on eBay. You know, usually like 15 bucks. Um, I've sold quite a few over the years and you can always get them pretty cheap too. I also got the Sony tapes. That's what I just dropped. Uh, five of them for 50 cents each. I don't think they've got a lot of resale value, but I'm pretty sure I've got a Sony camcorder right now that takes these. So I might just bundle them with that. Got some vintage sealed toys. It's a Gerber Fruit Baby, Fisher Price, Once Upon a Dream, and this was the real find here. Littlest Pet Shop, Dazzling Hair Pet. These have some pretty good value to them. I haven't found this exact one yet, but I'm thinking at least 30 or 40 bucks. I paid 10 for all three of those. Got this uh, Marksman Repeater. It's probably just like a BB handgun, and it's got the, the pellets in it. I think I only paid like three bucks for this thing. I think it was in like a bundle deal with some other stuff. Got this Cobra CB radio. Uh, it's got the huge antenna too. The thing has kind of been a pain in my butt getting it back here. Uh, I paid five bucks for this thing. I see a lot of CB radios, but Cobra is one of the better brands. This is going on my website. All right, here is, whoa, handlebar about hit me around the face. Okay, this is the Hutch bike. Um, that we showed in the video. It is, I think, 1980. Uh, John Johnson, Nevermore Antiques, was doing a little bit of research for me on it. And there's no serial number. I checked it for a serial number. He said, since there's not one, it's probably a 1980. Um, I actually got a local guy interested in it. I showed him a price of 650. It was kind of based on condition and some of the other comps that I saw. So we'll see if he wants it. If not, I think I'm gonna throw it up on eBay for an auction starting at $4.99. John also mentioned that that would probably be a good idea and I think he's right because I just don't know the value of this thing. So somebody that knows more about it might be willing to pay more for it. So I think an auction is a good fit for something like this. I also contacted a local bike shop that tears these down and 
you know, ship some of everything because I don't know what I'm doing when it comes to shipping something like this and I don't want to screw it up. So I'm going to let them do it, but I will keep you guys updated on what happens with the bike. I got this cash register for 25 bucks. Gosh, this thing is heavy. Um, I bought it because it has a glass top. I don't see that all too often. I think it, it must have some better age to it than most. If I had to guess, I'd say probably 1950s, 1960s. Um, there's no markings on it anywhere. I can't find NCR. I can't find more like serial number. I can't find anything. So if somebody knows more about these than I do, please let me know in the comments below if you have dealt with some old cash registers. Kind of give me a starting point on this thing. This is an old pedal tractor. Unfortunately, it has some spray paint on it. So I'm gonna have to get that off before I sell it because it looks kind of ugly. But I paid 30 bucks and last time I had one similar to that on my website, sold for about 80. So pretty good find. It was actually in her lawn. She didn't want to sell it, but you know, everything has a price. Got this metal rack for $2.50. Uh, cause they had two of them. There was a, like a gold one. I'll show you that I got two and I paid five for both. It's got this blue ribbon popcorn tin. Uh, they wanted $10, but I got it for five. And I got this explosives crate and it says dynamite on the other side. I paid up for it. I paid 15 bucks, but it's cool and I like it and I should make at least a few bucks on my website. I thought this was kind of cool. This is like a homemade scooter. Somebody took an old skateboard and they took like an L bracket here and then just mounted the wood handle to it. It's pretty neat. Uh, paid three bucks for it. I might get 10 for it on my website. It's kind of cool. Somebody might just put it in their garden. Here is that gold shelf. Uh, I was showing you guys, or was telling you about earlier with the red shelf that I got. It kind of has like a mid-century look to it. It's pretty neat. Uh, so yeah, I got that one for $2.50 as well. Found a lot of cassettes over the weekend. Uh, this is a whole case of like 80s rock and metal and, you know, hair bands and stuff. There's like Poison, Motley Crue, Metallica, ZZ Top. Uh, I paid five for the whole case. And I think it might be double-sided. I haven't even looked at this other side yet to see what's in here. I think I'm just going to throw these as a lot on eBay. They should do okay. See over here we got Bon Jovi. Uh, here's a Nirvana. Case is empty so I'm hoping, hoping these aren't just a bunch of empty cases. Uh, Alice Cooper, ACDC, Skid Row, Def Leppard. A lot of pretty good titles in here. Got some wood restaurant signs. So this is clams, it's double-sided, that's a slaw. Uh, I got five of them, I paid two bucks each. This one's fish, corn. Uh, pretty cool. I think these will be a good fit for my website. I don't know what somebody's gonna do with them, but they'll probably be good decoration pieces. Got this Nightmare video board game. It's like a VCR tape game thing. Kind of silly, it was $2. Didn't look it up, just kind of took a chance on it. Uh, got this Cowboys helmet. I think it's a shut. Yeah, I paid, gosh, I want to say it was, it was $3 for this, I think. I usually do pretty good with helmets on my website. So I either stick on my website or stick it on eBay. Helmets have a pretty good market to them. I also got this pull down faucet. Um, I'm gonna keep this. They wanted 40. I got them down to 30 bucks. It's factory banded Because I just replaced my kitchen sink at home and we were talking about how we're gonna need to replace the faucet sooner or later So that is gonna come in handy down the road. These things are expensive new like 150 bucks Got this vintage Boy Scout box it Says be prepared paid two dollars for that and I got a metal ampersand signed for a dollar Got these Barbies here uh, let's see, this is a 1986 Barbie Rockers. This is a 1985 Peaches and Cream Barbie. He wanted 15 each. I got them both for 15, so I'm into them for 750 each. 
and they comp out at like 50 bucks a pop. So pretty excited about those. Got a little Rawlings Fast Pitch Girls Glove for a couple bucks. Um, should get like 10 bucks for that from Plate again. And I got this, what is this? Little People Princess Songs Palace. Um, this is right up Darcy's Alley. We're uh, probably gonna be planning a trip to Disneyland in a, couple, in a year or two. Don't tell Darcy. So this will be a good like uh, birthday or Christmas present for her right before that. Got this 1976 Green Lantern comic glass for a dollar. Uh, this I was pretty excited about. Lonnie passed this up. I don't know what he was thinking. Uh, this is a special edition Chicago Cubs Barbie doll. Uh, it is from 1994. No, wait, I'm sorry, 2000. They've got like seven copyright years on this thing. It's from 2000. Um, I got it in a bundle deal with a bunch of other stuff for like $10. So I probably got $2 into her. She's selling for like 75 bucks on eBay. Pretty high comps. Chicago Cubs stuff is pretty hot right now. A lot of people jumping on that bandwagon. Got this autographed baseball for a dollar. I'm not sure who the signature is. It almost looks like it says Lee Smith. I'll have to do a little bit of research and um, see if I can figure out who that is. But it is on an official Rawlings Major League Baseball. So that's a good sign. And it always, you know, if it's on a real MLB ball, it always increases the value. Got some sealed cassette tapes. Uh, they wanted a dollar each, but I got six of them for five bucks. This is a Chuck Berry. Uh, this is Pearl Jam, no code. Uh, Neil Young, Crazy Horse. Janis Joplin's Greatest Hits. Steve Miller Band, Greatest Hits. And Beck Odelay. Couldn't find hardly any comps on these because they're sealed, but some of the used ones were going pretty good, like 10 to 15 bucks, so... Um, I don't know, for the six, I might end up with a hundred bucks. I don't do a lot with sealed uh, cassette tapes, but I think there's an okay market for them. Got this Beatles set. I thought it was pretty cool. It is a 224-page uh, book and four vinyl record coasters. Kind of a neat set. I think I paid three or four bucks for it. Beatles stuff always does good on my website. Um, I like this, got this ashtray. It's a, uh, I think it's a Mexican pesos ashtray for a quarter. Something kind of unique, different. Got these wild turkey knives. They're knife sets. They wanted 10 each, uh, but I got them both for 10. So I'm uh, into them for five bucks each. And I think these will do pretty well for me. Got this California fruit growers crate. Honestly, don't even remember buying this. But it's cool and I like it, so yeah, who knows what I paid for it. Got this old coffee grinder for 11 bucks. Um, a little bit high to pay for these, but I really liked it. It is, it's definitely old. It's not a reproduction. I looked it over pretty carefully. It's got some nice dovetail corners on the side. Um, I might get 20, 25 bucks for this on my website. And I got an Escort Solo, Solo radar detector uh, for two bucks. So we went to a sale. Everything in their yard was just trash. I mean, it probably just sort of went to the dump. Um, but we saw they had a patio, and she said, yeah, there's some things in there. So we go in, and I find this tub of knives. They're all like, kind of those like cheap China knives. Some are bigger than others. You know, like these have got some decent size to them. Um, and there's a ton of them in here. There's over 100 knives. And I said, you know, what would you do for the whole box of knives? They said, make us an offer. I said, let's do 20 bucks. They said, all right, let's do it. So I'm into these for pretty cheap. Probably just gonna lot them up, uh, sell them on my website, you know, buy the box, you know, give somebody a deal. But yeah, not too bad. Got this handmade wood hammer. Uh, I did a bundle with this with some other stuff, but I think I, I probably got close to 10 bucks in it. I just really liked it. This uh, is an ammo case that was part of the deal for the uh, the rescue basket that is still kind of hanging up here. Um, yeah, she would not separate that rescue basket from this other stuff. It was like, yeah, you got to take it all. So 
This was part of that deal that I paid $150 for. This is a Magnavox uh, DVD VCR combo. It's not a recorder. Didn't have the remote, but I only paid $3 for it. Uh, Magnavox sells. It's one of the better brands to find of this type of stuff. Bought a PlayStation 1. Uh, there's a bunch of games in here. Set that down. It's got one controller and it's got all the hookups. The games aren't great, to be honest, but I will show them making some money. Um, I paid 18 bucks for everything. So it's like Monsters Inc., it's Pac Man, Medal of Honor, Big Game Hunter, Jurassic Lost World. Omega Boost, MLB 2000, Spec Ops, and Magical Racing Tour. This one I think I'll get 10 bucks for. I don't think there's a lot of scratches. Yeah, pretty good shape, so probably just sell that separate and get 10 bucks. Got these McGregor Airway badminton rackets, uh, 50 cents each. And the comps on these are pretty good, I think. I'll end up getting at least 40 or 50 bucks for the set of four. Got these coins out of sale. These were at the same sale that Lonnie found the RC Cola sign. I think I'd rather have his sign. Um, Indian cents, Buffalo Nichols. Paid five bucks. Um, the Indian cents, there are some oldies in here. So I've got an 1857 Flying Eagle cent. There's an 1863 Indian head penny in there. What have I got? Four... I think there's at least like 25 Indian cents in there. And then the Buffalo Nichols, uh, the oldest is 1919. And there's about, looks like about 20 of those. So not too bad. Um, the Flying Eagle cent, the 1857, I think that's probably worth 20 to 30 bucks on its own. And then all the rest of the coins, maybe another 30 bucks or so. So, not too bad. I probably will just end up keeping these or giving them to my dad. My dad collects coins like crazy. All right, I got some goodies in here. Well, maybe they're goodies. I really don't know. This is a Panasonic Omni Movie cassette recorder thing. There's no battery or anything, but I got it for two bucks. Um, it might have some value. I don't know. It just kind of looked cool. And here is a uh, baseball mitt. A little Franklin baseball mitt was a dollar. I think that's all I've got in here. This is a uh, retro phone, uh, kind of like a wall hanging type thing. This was five bucks. Got a big box of trucker hats for $3. Um, I think I actually bought this one separately at a sale for a dollar. Houston Astros. There's some pretty cool ones in here. I do a little bit of hats on eBay but I mostly just lot them up and sell them on my website because they do surprisingly well. Booger Hollow, Arkansas. Some pretty cool hats in here. Yeah, these are like all, all kinds of different places. Just some really cool trucker hats. Paid $3 for this LED sign and it's got the check mark next to Man Cave. It says Man Cave. So we'll light this up, put it on the wall. Uh, probably look pretty good in the premiere video. Got a signed Ozzy Smith photo for $1. Got three fishing reels. Um, Bronson Green Hornet. Shakespeare True Blue 1956. So these have got some age to them. Um, Ocean City 1600. No Abu Garcia's, unfortunately, but I only paid five bucks for our th all three. This is one of my favorite finds from the weekend. I paid five bucks for it. It is a 19, it either says 87 or 67, probably 1987. Just can't tell if that's an eight or a six. Yogi's Great Escape Picnic Basket. Pretty neat. It's got a little bit of damage right there, unfortunately, but who doesn't want a Yogi's picnic basket? This is a cast iron easel, uh, or like a you know picture holder or something like that. Uh, it's a reproduction, not old, but it's it's cool. She was asking five bucks. I paid the five bucks. And this is a GE fan. I think 
Alana got me vid, got video of me buying this, and I think I paid seven dollars for it. Open it works. All right, this is one of the pieces that was in the bundle deal for the rescue basket, and the whole reason is because there was a sticker, I guess. Like there was a sticker on all three of them that said like "stand clear" or something. It's very strange. But anyways, this is some kind of uh, telephone workman's bag. It's got the Bell South sticker right here. It's kind of neat, actually. I think this is this is going to do pretty good on my website. People like cool stuff like that. This is a metal stamp sign. It's kind of like incomplete, but it is double-sided. It's pretty cool. Paid five bucks for that. And this is an older window. Paid five bucks for that, too. Got this Radica Draw Poker Game for $2. Uh, it's got the original box, which is nice. Should definitely help the value. And I got some Polaroids for a dollar each. Okay, I think I'm a little more than halfway done, but unfortunately I am out of time today. So I'm gonna <laughs> get out of here and uh, I'll be back at the warehouse in the morning and I will finish shooting this video. All right guys, uh, this is day two of this haul video. <laughs> um, if you're still hanging with me, I appreciate it. I know this is a long one, but I still got some good stuff uh, I'll pull out and show you guys. This is like some kind of uh, pitcher, just decorative though. Um, pretty heavy, some kind of like molded plaster or something. I thought it was neat. I got it for a buck. And then this is a very old Santa Claus. It's kind of creepy too. Look at him. I don't know if he's got any tags or anything on him. Well, there's something here. What does that say? It says, I'm a musical. So I guess at one point in time he played the music. It looks like there was a little thing here, but I don't see the, the little turn to play music. Um, I got him for a buck. He's creepy and old, and creepy and old sells. I got some new pants. I got 10 pair for $8. They're all in the plastic. Let's see, they are... Duke belted chinos or chinos. Um, they vary in sizes. Like this is a 42. They're all pretty big sizes. So I thought thought they'd do okay. And the fact that they're new should help them sell. The comps were pretty good on these. If I was looking at the comps right, it was like 30 or $40 a pair. But I don't do a lot of clothes, so my, my numbers may be way off. Um, yeah, I think these are pretty much all... You know, Duke belted. These are 38. Different colors, too. These are 52. Waist. She had some other ones that she said were new. They didn't have the bags. They just didn't look new to me, so I didn't get them. Um, but I think we'll end up doing all right with these. This is a Corvette VCR Rewinder. It's got the power cord and everything. Uh, paid three bucks. Should sell it for about 15 or so on my website. I think is what I usually get for these. This is a Steve Urkel doll. Uh, the guy wanted 30 bucks for him. <sighs> Gosh, and I'm trying to remember what I ended up paying for it. I wanna say it was like $10, because I pulled his string, and his voice box, you know, was kind of broken in there, so. Um, but he'll still look cool on the shelf for somebody, so I think he'll do okay. I think these have some decent value. Probably, you know, a lot more if his voice box didn't have any issues. This is an old wooden box, handmade. It's got some handles on the side. Um, picked it up for seven bucks. I always like getting this stuff because people like vintage stuff that's also functional. You know, you can put some blankets or something in this. Got some new old stock Jeep stuff. Uh, this is, I got two speakers. got part numbers on the box over there so I got two of those and then I got well, let's see if I can get these back in here I got these side mirrors uh, it's for a Wrangler I've got the part number and everything 
So I got two mirrors, two speakers. I paid 15 bucks for everything. I think I can get 80 bucks, 70 or 80 bucks for the mirrors and another 50 or so for the speakers. But yeah, it's all, it's all new old stock. It's got all the packing and everything in there. Um, you know, hard parts sell, especially when they're new. This thing is heavy. This is, I believe, a reel-to-reel. -reel. I can't even remember now. Yeah, so this is RCA Victor. Let me see if I can get this lid off of here. RCA Victor reel-to-reel. -reel. I think these take the smaller reels. Um, I think I paid five bucks for it. It wasn't very much, but it's cool. It's got a cool look to it. I have no idea what it's worth. Got this Yamaha keyboard um, for three dollars. It is a Portasound PSS 460. Didn't look it up yet, but these some of these have some pretty good value. I think the cheapest I've ever sold one for was thirty or forty bucks, and I've sold some over a hundred. Um, they're not full keyboards, but they have some cool effects that people like to use. This is an old Fleischmann's frozen egg white tin. Uh, they were asking five, but I got it for four. Found these deer antler pieces at a yard sale for two bucks. Um, these make good dog bones. Like they chew on them forever. We gave one to Crosley maybe a year ago and it took him like that long to chew through it. So I'll be taking these home for my pup. Got a Sega Genesis. They were asking 10, but I got it for five. Um, <laughs> right after I paid for this, Lonnie walks up, walks up and he says, what'd you get, man? He knew I'd beat him to something, you know, halfway decent. Uh, this has three controllers and two games. Nothing special, though, but, you know, it's probably 25, 30 bucks. Got this really nice Rydell football helmet. Um, this thing is not cheap when they're new. I mean, they're, you know, upwards of $200 sometimes. I'm not sure which model this is, but it's pretty clean. Um, I think I paid like seven bucks. I'll probably throw it on eBay and see what happens because football season's coming up. Two days will be starting soon. Got this big bag of camera equipment for 20 bucks. Um, that's nothing special. It's just like a bulb housing thing. Um, got a lot of these like sun pack flashes. So this is a 383. Um, Sunpack 5000 AF. There's a bunch of them in here. Sunpack Auto 544. I think I've got at least 10 Sunpacks in here. And I paid 20 bucks for all of them. I think I can get at least 100, maybe closer to 200, because some of these are selling pretty good. Got this artwork here. She only wanted a dollar for all three pieces. I got these two. Pretty neat details, kind of got like a 3D effect. And then I've got another one here in the van. There's the third one. There's her sticker, a dollar for all three. So, of course I didn't talk her down. Got this sealed Monopoly Star Wars. Um, for five bucks, these are selling for about, you know, 30 bucks or so. Um, but keep an eye out for sealed Monopoly games because some of them go for crazy money. I got a Batman one about a year ago, and it sold for 150 bucks, I think. There's there are big collectors out there for sealed Monopoly games, so keep your eyes peeled. We went to an estate sale, and this house was rough. I felt like the floors were gonna fall from under our feet when we were walking through there. And this is pretty much all I pulled out of there are these little lantern bookends. Um, got a pretty good look to them. Um, I paid three dollars, I think. Honestly, I can't remember. I bought so much stuff, it starts to blend together, you know what I mean? Got some wrestling figure toys. They're all new in the packaging. Some of them are like little cars. Some of these guys I've never even heard of. Edge. Some pretty neat ones. I got all of these, there's Dennis Rodman. I got all of these and that uh, Barbie Chicago Cubs doll for 10 bucks. Just a big bundle deal. This one's pretty rough. Kind of all the stuff on the sides coming off. 
I looked up a couple of these and they seem like they've got some decent value. There's Mr. Ric Flair. Little car and another little car. Got a very old pedal tractor. I mean, this thing is old. It's kind of roached out. Uh, you know, it's pretty rusty, but I like rusty and dusty. She was asking 15 uh, and I paid it. I paid the 15 bucks. Sell it on my website. I think I'll get at least 50. I mean, this thing is pretty neat. Somebody definitely like this in their garden. Oh, this thing weighs a ton. I got this, it feels like cast iron. Um, some sort of like plow, I think. Dang, that thing's heavy. And these go with it. I just don't know where they attach. Uh, I paid 15 bucks for that. Okay, last but certainly not least, here is the uh, rescue basket that I got. It's pretty neat. It's got, you know, wood slats in there, really old straps. Um, it's a little rusted, but it's cool. I might have, I probably overpaid for it. I paid 150 bucks and it came with some other, you know, baskets and, you know, bags and stuff that I can sell. So I'll probably end up having about 100 bucks in it after I sell that other stuff. But it was cool and I didn't want to leave it there because I'd never seen one. All right, now that I've shown you guys everything I got, that is officially a wrap for the Highway 70 yard sale. Um, man, it was just a blast. It was a really a lot of fun hanging out with everybody. Really enjoyed it. If you guys have never done one of those long yard sales, I highly recommend it. And there's a lot of them too. There's there's quite a few of them. Um, coming up in August, the Route 127 sale is going right through Cincinnati. I'll be out of town though, so I won't be able to do it this year. But yeah, they're an adventure for sure. And they typically go, you know, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And it's from like, uh, you know, sun, sun up to sundown. It's like an all day thing. So I highly recommend it. That is it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.